This tutorial will discuss concepts of positive versus negative work. So a Basset Hound Feynman is being pulled up on a carriage to this platform at a height of 3 meters. Feynman has a mass of 39 kilograms and in part A we're asked to find the work done by the man and in part B we're asked to find the work done by gravity. Okay, so let's draw the free body diagram of Feynman. We'll draw him as a box like this. And so we see that there's the tension that is pulling Feynman up, like so. And also there's the force due to gravity pulling down, like this. The force due to gravity is, of course, equal to mg, right? And we could calculate that, but we, we'll, we'll hold off for now. Okay, so in, in this concept, if, you, if you're trying to ascertain whether or not work is positive or negative, if the work... If the force that is causing the work is in the same direction as the displacement, then the work is positive. So the man is responsible for this tension. He's pulling up like this. The displacement is in this same direction, and therefore the man is producing positive work. So part A, we say that the work done due to the man is equal to the force times the distance. And the force that he's exerting, he's exerting this tension here, and he's pulling through a height. It's a positive work. We assume that Feynman is pulled up with constant velocity. And so because that's true, the tension must be equal to the weight of Feynman, which is mg. So this is mg times h. And so we plug in 39 times 9.81 times the height of 3. And so this number is 1,148 joules. This is the work done by the man. Okay, so part B, we calculate the work done by gravity. But the work done by gravity, let's, let's go ahead and write down the general form here. The work done by gravity is equal to force times the distance. And the force, oh, the force due to gravity, the force is pushing down and the displacement is up. So because the force due to gravity and the displacement is up, because these two are in the opposite direction, we say that this work is negative because the force due to gravity is retarding the motion. Okay? And so we can say that this is equal to negative the force due to gravity times the distance. And then we of course know that this is negative mgd where the force due to gravity is negative is mg. So then Feynman has a mass of 39 kilograms and then 9.81 meters per second squared. And then the distance that he's pulled through is 3 meters, like so. And we see that I put height here, so we could, we could ch make that change. It's a subtle notation, a subtle thing. But you just realize that this amount here, this d, is the displacement through which he changes, okay? So he goes from here all the way up to here. And, and that's, that is the height that you're looking forward to insert into the equation. And of course, this is equal to negative 1,148 joules, okay? So I'm gonna just rewrite this right here. Work due to gravity is equal to negative 1,148 joules, like this. Okay, in part, in part B, we're going to discuss one more subtlety of this. See you next time.